welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Karis for those who are new here and I make crochet amigurumi plushies. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. Our market is officially three days away. It's coming up so fast, you guys. But there's a few things that I wanted to update you on. First, I got a custom order for the Jumbo Triceratops, which I'll put a picture here for you guys if you don't know what I'm talking about and they wanted a very specific color combination for their jumbo triceratops. This one is turning out to be even bigger than the original jumbo triceratops and that's because when I made the original jumbo triceratops I used Sweet Snuggles Light which is a weight 6 jumbo yarn. However for this one and the particular colors that this customer wanted I had to use Sweet Snuggles Original, which is a weight seven jumbo yarn. And on top of that, using a bigger yarn, you need a bigger hook. So I used a 10 millimeter hook, you guys. <laughs> this is wild. This is so crazy, but it's so cool. Okay, so first the customer wanted a pink body with a pink head and they wanted to also incorporate some yellow and some orange. I haven't gotten super far yet, but first, Here's the body of the Triceratops in this bubblegum pink, and this would be his head. <laughs> you guys, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be a beast of a plushie, you guys. Like, I am so excited about this. So I'm going to finish up that order because I finally got the rest of the yarn that I was waiting on. So we will definitely be finishing that today. Also, in the previous video, I spoke about a top that I was making, the Maribella top. It was red. It's really cute. I love it. Um... I don't like acrylic yarn. <laughs> and that was the yarn that I originally started making that top in. And I just don't like the feel of it. It always just feels so like scratchy and hard. So I ended up buying some cotton yarn and decided to do a different shirt. And this is the shirt. It is so cute. I have not tried it on yet, but I need to. But look at how cute this is. So basically it's the star stitch all the way around. It's so cute. So I originally, I, when I got the yarn, I was like, okay, so let me try something that's going to take a little bit less time. Wrong. This took probably longer than the other top would have ever taken because it's so, there's so many stitches like, and there's a full back to it and everything. So this definitely took a lot longer. I only just finished this like yesterday. So <laughs> But hopefully this will be a really nice one to wear to the market. So I'm really excited about this. Along with the Sweet Snuggles yarn that I bought to get the Triceratops finished, I also got a lot more of, of the Sweet Snuggles light white yarn because I was running out and I wanted to add a few more bunnies to my market because I didn't have any and a lot of people really like bunnies so I wanted to do a few more. So I found a bunny pattern for free on YouTube that I like and I will link that pattern down below but this is what it was supposed to look like and her yarn was much thinner than mine and she used a smaller hook and everything else so when I did mine everything that I used was much bigger. So here's the bunny. <laughs> Sometimes when you upsize a pattern by upsizing the yarn and the hook, sometimes things don't turn out as proportionate and I just don't like how tall her head is. Like it's really long. If this had like one or two rows less with the current yarn and hook that I was using, this would look absolutely perfect. Right now to me though, it looks like a very long <laughs> head, but she is super cute. She's got little bows around her ears and she's holding a little heart, but this is a massive bunny, you guys. But she will be included in the market. Hopefully somebody falls in love with her. I do really love her. I just wish that her head was just a little bit smaller. It's currently Friday, March 22nd, you guys. My craft fair is literally tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out, to be honest. I've done so many craft fairs before, but never to this scale. And it's just, I, <laughs> I have put so much weight on this one, I think, that I'm just like stressing myself out right now. <laughs> I have so much that I want to get done and make sure that I get done before tomorrow. And it's currently almost 5 p.m. I just got back home from work. I scheduled and planned to leave early like a month 
in advance so that I had just a few extra hours at night to make sure that I got everything situated in case I needed it. And I'm so glad I did because I think that there's just quite a few things that I still need to do. Firstly, I want to take a brief pause from market prepping and I talked to you guys about this custom jumbo triceratops order not too long ago and I finally packaged it up and shipped it out. I didn't get too much recording of making the triceratops and packaging it up because it was like really late at night and I was just trying to get it done. But this was the biggest plushie I've ever made and shipped out. So that was that was pretty exciting, honestly. I'm I'm pretty happy about that. And I was so pleased with the final plushie. I love the colors, I love the color scheme, everything was so fun. And I definitely had just a great time making it. I'm so glad they reached out to me. So I just wanted to take a little time out to show you guys that because I'm so happy about that and how it came out. Okay, now back to market prepping. There's a few things that I need to do. I need to put tags on some of the newer plushies that I made between last video and this one. And it's only a few, but I still need to get it done. I have a few chicks on swings that are not on their swings yet that I need to, oh goodness, that are not on their swings yet that I need to attach to their swings. I think I have two or three over here, but I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just one. Okay, I have one chicks on swing that I need to put on his swing. And then let me show you guys. So I moved out to the living room because right here, <laughs> I have a handful of things that need keychains still. And look at these. So I just printed these out. These are gonna be some signs that I put in the picture frame, which I have to do today as well. That's another thing on the list that I need to do. But these I'm gonna put in some picture frames and hang them on my table at various places. And this one is going to be a QR code directly to my Etsy to where they can shop patterns if they wanted to. And then I also have another one where they can go to my YouTube and my Instagram. I know everything is backwards in the camera. I'm sorry about that. This is the first time I'm gonna be implementing these in a craft fair. So I hope that they are helpful and successful. <laughs> another thing that I did, I just made these today, you guys, and I already sold two of them to my coworkers before I could even add them to my craft market or show anybody about them, which was really cool. But look, <laughs> you guys, it's a little baby shark, you guys. Look at him. <laughs> I just can't. Look at how tiny he is. And he's just like, he's a little shark. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so I originally planned to put keychains on these as well. I think I am going, I think I have, I made a lot, to be honest. This took me 10 minutes at the maximum to make. And this is a pattern by All From Jade on Instagram. I will link that below if you want to try your own little mini shaggy. But this did not take me very long at all so i'm gonna sell them for five dollars but i definitely made quite a few because they didn't take that long but i ended up running out of the eyes that i needed so i had to just make their bodies and finish off i think three or four of them still need to be finished off with like little eyes so i need to do that as well it's another thing we need to add to the list and then also put keychains on this stuff not him he's just he's my little chunky dino just chilling but he doesn't need any i was holding on to him so that i could write up the pattern for him and post that for free for you guys on youtube so he's just kind of hanging out but these guys need oh and not him either he's clearance <laughs> these guys need some keychains there's not very many of them but i definitely need to put those on there and then this is my bag of sharks <laughs> that need keychains and a few more little chicks on swings that i made at work today as well
plushies finally have keychains, all of them that if you saw my previous market prep video, which you can catch up here, I show you that I have like over a hundred plushies that I need to put keychains on. Well, we finally got through all of that. So everything that needs keychains, including the little baby sharks, have keychains now. Then I need to go on to Square and add all of the new inventory and all of their prices so that I have that ready to go for tomorrow. After that, I have to just pack everything up and make sure that I have absolutely everything and do not forget because this is a long, long drive. So if I forget anything, there's no going back. So I need to make sure I have everything after that. And that's the last and final thing I'll do tonight. I think that all of this stuff is still gonna take me like two, three hours to do. So I'm gonna stop talking and rambling and get right to it. I just brought everything out from my craft room into the living room to organize and hopefully make sure or make it all fit rather in one car but i guess we shall see so we are on our way to the craft market i did not record packing the car but as you can see it's super filled so this is going to be a long drive but i will update you when we get there sale we did one chick on swings too many octaves a scrunchie and a triceratops and it's only 20 minutes in the market so hopefully this goes well <laughs> We are back. It is Sunday, the next day after the market, and I have a market repack. Re I have a market recap for you guys. <laughs> She's growling. <laughs> She's 
So this is like so random, but like my front door is like right over there and I have the door open and just like the clear glass is showing right now so I could like see right through it. And while I'm trying to record a video, like an Amazon package got dropped off and I was, <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. They didn't really knock, they just kind of sat the package down. But I'm also like in here talking to myself and I think that they can hear me. <laughs> but I had rain in my lap and she saw him and she started growling. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. So one of the coolest things that happened at this market, and I recorded this while it was happening, but for some odd reason, 50% of the videos that I recorded at this market do not have the sound of what I recorded. It's just this high pitched screeching, beeping sound and absolutely no other noises. So I'm in here talking in this video immediately after this happened I mentioned their name in the video so I wouldn't forget and of course I go back to the video I try to play it and I'm like hey I'm gonna talk about it again I'm gonna say her name again and then I play it and nope not nothing there was nothing and I was so upset you guys because like half of the videos that I recorded don't have the context that I was recording so now they're just like useless <laughs> I was just like you gotta be kidding me <laughs> I definitely should have checked this has just never happened to me before so I don't know why that happened and I'm very upset about it <laughs> so for more context what I'm talking about is that at this market I had one of my subscribers come and meet me and talk to me and chat a little bit and they also gave me an adorable little purple whale on a keychain, you guys. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at how cute. Look at how cute. And they gave it to me and I was just so happy about that. Like that literally made my day. And I just thought it was so cool that they came out and like visited me and they came to that market specifically to come see me. And I was going to say her name again, but... I am absolutely awful with names, beyond terrible, which was why I recorded that video so that I could include that when it happened and then also go back, remember the name, and say it again. But unfortunately, I do not remember and I am so, so, so incredibly sorry that I do not remember. Please, if you are watching this, comment down below. Also, I know you have a shop, so please link that too so that I can add it into my description so people can come and check out your shop. So thank you from the bottom of my heart coming to see me. I absolutely loved that. It literally made my day. Thank you so much. I love him and he's going right over here with my chubby dino until I find more proper spots to put your guys' gifts, but I will cherish him forever. Thank you. Another crochet artist who is there made a Migurumi as well. And at this market, I decided to bring my butterfly tops and she saw one that she really liked. So she asked if she could trade. So of course I was like, yeah, let me go look. I love trading. Let me go take a look. So I went over there and the first thing I saw was this little guy and like, Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so light adjust. Thank you. Look at you guys. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> this is one of the animals in Pal World. I have not played it yet, so I cannot tell you what the name of it is yet. But I saw him and I was like, this looks so cool. So I definitely was like, yeah, let me have this one and I will trade you. And so she gave me this one and she got a butterfly top. And I absolutely love this little guy and he is also gonna go over here with my jumbo dino until I find a better, I wanna put like a shelf up and stuff so that I can have more of the crochet plushies in the background of my videos. But until then, he's gonna go over here with my jumbo dino along with my little wheel. Definitely be sure to go check both of them out and give them lots and lots and lots of love. All right, so moving on to the actual market results. So my total sales, not including sales tax that was charged, which was like four or 5% per transaction with card and stuff, was $835. You guys, that's a lot for me. <laughs> I usually sit in between two to $300. So $835 is a lot for me. That was beyond amazing and I was very ecstatic about that. I was kind of hoping that I was going to make $1,000 to $2,000 at this because of how many people were there, how much advertising they did, and it was really busy. Just nobody really sold out and everybody still kind of had like a decent amount of inventory throughout the day. So I think one of the things that was happening is just, you know, with the way the economy is now that people are kind of holding back a little bit more on these purchases. So I think 
think that might be what happened and why people weren't shopping as much. In the end, I'm still very grateful and very happy for all of the business that I got and all of the love that I got. So I wanted to go over just a few of the best sellers. I wish that I was able to make more of these, but the baby sharks sold out halfway through I had no more and I think I prepped maybe 10 of them I wanted to make so many more they're so fast you guys like it takes no more than 10 minutes and everybody really liked them and I sold them for five dollars each I'm definitely gonna be making a lot more of those little guys you can bet after that what came close to selling out was the chicks on swings I think I prepared 11 of them and I sold seven of them so those ones sold pretty well my dragons sold out I had two of them for for $55 each and they were very popular a lot of people really loved them and eventually they sold out <laughs> which was that was really cool to see in total though I sold 66 items I think I market prepped over 300 items I, I made so many mushroom boys a triceratops and mini octos I made like 50 of each like it was absolutely insane so that was what most of my inventory is now is a lot of those little tiny things that usually do really well on my Etsy as well so I can't really complain and it gives more inventory for the next market that I'm doing I am working on filling out the paperwork for affair of the heart so I will for sure be doing that this year in October so all in all like I said I made $835 I am going to go through all of the plushies that I made and calculate out what they cost me to make and then subtract that so that I get the actual profit that I made and just kind of eyeballing it. I would say that my material costs ranged at probably $60 to $100 for all of the stuff that sold. So I would say I'm just going to take off $100 and call it good and say that my total profit after all of the fees was $735 and then the fee for the booth space was $250. That leaves our total profit at $485. I am happy with it. I liked the experience. I loved being there and connecting with more makers and I was very proud of my setup this time because I went more above and beyond. I had a cute little rug I threw out to make it more comfy and cozy. I had two more signs that I made that I was able to put on my tables to make it look more professional. And I had a few more new displays that helped things stand out as well. So I was really happy with how I did things with this craft fair. I was also really pleased with how much market prepping I was actually able to get done. And I will definitely be making more dragons for sure. <laughs> but then also just more variety of bigger plushies that I know people are going to love at Affair of the Heart. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here along for the ride. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to catch the market prep before this, if you did not see that, go ahead and check that out up here. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.